Hi unicorns! Welcome back to the Tassel Fairy channel. I'm Amina, the Tassel Fairy. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but whatever. Um, okay, so here is a video that everyone has been asking for ever since I changed my hair. I am going to be telling you all about how I achieved this glorious, magical, big hair situation. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is talk a little bit about the process and then you're gonna get a very exclusive behind the scenes look at exactly what happened and how I went from my signature, you know, unicorn braids that I'm known for to this fluffy, big hair, unicorn curl realness. All right, one thing I wanted to discuss is this project is called Unicorn Curls, and I started a Tumblr, an Instagram page recently, just simply dedicated to spreading the love and showcasing some of my favorite colorful looks um, and colorful hair trends on women of color. That's a lot of color. <laughs> color, color, you know. So basically, yeah, I just really wanted to talk about that because honestly, when I first started wearing my hair in braids, in the yarn braids, um, I just got such a huge response from so many of you unicorns out there saying, hey, you know, I'm a brown girl and I A, don't ever see enough girls um, rocking these kind of styles or hey how did you do this or where did you get the hair from or anything like just there was so much like love and support um, and so many questions and the thing that I really discovered is that there are so many of us out there rocking dope hair different colors being magical being whimsical being our unicorn selves and we're just really not represented, you know? Like, and you know rainbow hair is like fire. It's everywhere. Like you can't go on Instagram without seeing um, colorful hair trends. And I just really want women of color to be a part of that story because we look good with our hair like this. Right, do you think? I think, okay. So, check out Unicorn Curls. There's been a lot of press about it lately. I'm really excited, in fact, um, if you've seen my article on Hello Giggles recently, my face was like all over Hello Giggles, uh, I think it was last week, and they talked all about unicorn curls and why I'm so passionate about this project. Well, I am going to be back again with Hello Giggles Monday, December, what day is Monday? <laughs> Monday, December 19th at 4 p.m. Check out Hello Giggles Facebook because I am doing a Facebook Live. We're gonna talk all about unicorn curls and everything magical and awesome. And we're gonna be making some really cool DIY holiday like hair accessories using all kinds of cool stuff like Christmas ornaments and anyway, so you don't wanna miss that. So definitely be sure to tune into that and watch, watch this space, watch my Instagrams and all of my social media for more on unicorn curls. Okay, so let's get into this. <laughs> okay, so here we go. So what you're about to see right now is a total transformation. Remember when I looked like this? My name is Amina and I'm the Castle Fairy. So guess what we're doing today? Can you guess? Okay, well I'm showing you some of my favorite hairstyles that I love to do. That was just last month. I hooked up with Shelly Gregory. She's a magical unicorn hair loving goddess um, based in Las Vegas. And we met on Instagram, yes. And she is very, very conscientious about preserving the texture and the health of kinky curly hair while still achieving like magical, beautiful, fantastic rainbow unicorn looks. So I met up with her, she came down to LA and it was like meant to be because right when I wanted to change my hair she was visiting and we embarked on a very magical journey of hair coloring and 
it was epic as you're going to see. It took a lot of people to make this look happen. All of the products used in my hair are Pravana products. So the colors Pravana, we uh, lightened both my natural hair and my extensions with Pravana and it was awesome. And then this hair, because we wouldn't be here without this hair itself, these extensions are actually clip-ins. It's not sewn in, it's not a wig. Like, you can see my hair is in the front here. Um, my natural hair is like braided in cornrows and then except for a little bit of leave out to blend it in a little bit. And the rest of it are all clip-in extensions. Three bundles of clip-in extensions of the Four Curls collection from Heat Free Hair. Yes. A big, big, big shout out to the babes at Heat Free Hair. They are really awesome and so wonderful, so knowledgeable, and they're all about celebrating natural hair texture. And I love them. So you're gonna get a very special behind the scenes look of how this all happened, how all of the magic happened. Are you ready for this? You want me to shout out? Let's see some hair. So you're looking at my natural hair, and as you can see, it is still purple on the ends, back from when, last year, when I had it like this. So that's kind of what we were starting out with. Okay, unicorns, so that is Shelly Gregory. She is the one that is currently applying the foils to my hair. Um, that is Miss Unicorn Hair Extraordinaire. I'm sure you've probably seen her on my Instagram already. If you haven't, check her out. Um, she's just applying bleach to the parts of my hair that haven't already been processed. As you can see, the ends are pretty vibrant purple, and that's because they were bleached last year. And um, just, you know, FYI, my hair was just about that short last year. Um, and all of the black is what grew between then and now. So yeah, that's the process. She's applying the foils and slowly lifting my natural hair um, so that we can change the color and get it to a nice, um, we're going for like a nice kind of like indigo-y, darker, kind of slightly pastel, purpley color. Anyway, you'll see in a second. <laughs> <laughs> um, but basically, yeah, that's what uh, the first step was, just to get a set up so that my hair blended really well with the colors of the extensions. So then while they're waiting on my hair to get lighter, they moved on to taking care of the extensions and that was a lot of work. I mean, it was a lot of hair. And those are the Heat Free Hair Four Curls Clip-Ins. And again, like I said, I used three bundles, which is like one bundle more than what they recommend. I mean, like you saw how big my hair is. I like it really big. So anyway, they are um, applying bleach to the extensions and trying to get it to lift as gently um, and as light as we can so that we can get a nice vibrant color situation happening. So unfortunately, because we're doing this in all in one night, like which is kind of crazy, uh, we really didn't have a super long time to wait for the hair to lift. So she covered the extensions and foils, kind of similar to what she did with my hair, and conducted the heat with that little air dryer there happening. So that's what you're looking at there. The little babies are in there cooking. And poof, just like that, I'm blonde. Uh, it didn't really take that long to lift my hair. My hair actually lifts really quickly. Um, so yeah, that's what my natural hair looks like underneath the color. So obviously this is my favorite part. This is where you get to see Shelly's genius and how she mixes all of the colors together. I swear she uses like 20 different things for each color. Um, and so here she's mixing the uh, lavendery purpley bluey color that is going to go on my natural hair.
Okay, and now the magic is beginning. She is applying that purpley color that I mentioned um, that you just saw her mixing to my natural hair. Um, and there I am, all blonde, and, and it's all hands on deck. I'm helping to blow dry out the extensions so that we can get everything nice and dry and start painting all the color on everything. And boom, that's what my hair ended up looking like. Well, at least during the processing stage. I really, really love the color combination that she came up with. Um, it's like pinky, peachy kind of color mixed in with like the bluey, purpley, lavendery color. Um, yeah, I was totally obsessed. And so we let that sit for a really long time, like basically all night while the rest of the extensions were being painted, just so that we could soak up as much color as possible and my natural hair would be as awesome as possible. Okay, so honestly, this is literally my favorite part. Just to see her mixing all the colors, like every single color that you see there is a custom color. She basically mixed like a ton of colors to get each color, to get each shade, and she kind of had this vision. So I just let her run with it, honestly, because I just loved her work. Um, so yeah, and as you can see, the results were amazing, but this is what it looked like during processing. And like I said, it was all hands on deck. Like she literally had like two other people helping because it was a lot of hair. Okay, so it was a ton of hair. And so like, yeah, basically she was just like kind of improvising and like, hey, paint blue here, paint yellow here. She was kind of just like instructing everyone where to paint everything, it was so dope. But I loved how it turned out and this is the result. I hope you enjoyed all of that magical goodness. Um, and like I said, it took a village to make this hair happen, let me tell you. Like, I am all about DIYs. As you know, I do my braids, but, and I've dyed my own hair before, but for this much hair, I really wanted to, or put myself in the hands and the care of a professional. And I did, and I'm so happy with how it turned out. Um, so thank you so much for watching. And if you're interested in learning more, if you have questions, if there's something else you want to see, I'm thinking about doing a video. Here, I'm going to put this little guy down here because, anyway. I'm thinking of doing a video that talks all about how I install the clip-ins. Because as you can see in the clips there, my natural hair is like, you know, pretty short. If you want to see a video about that, let me know. But in the meantime, the day after Christmas, I am going to be on Instagram Live this time on my channel, Studio Muji, answering all of your hair-related questions. Um, if you have questions about anything, anything that has to do with me and hair, like I'm not a hairstylist or an expert, but I'm just a girl who loves really fun hair and who has done their own hair for a long time and who has had several experiences with various salons and stylists. So if you have questions about this process or about my braids or about hair or anything, and if I can answer them or direct you to someone who knows the answer, that is all gonna be going down on Instagram Live. So you have to follow me on Instagram at Studio Muchi and you'll be getting a notification the minute it goes live. But of course, I will also be posting about it on all my social media to let everyone know when it's gonna happen. So stay tuned for that. It's December 26th, the day after Christmas. It's 
gonna be lit. It gonna be zombity. Okay, don't forget to subscribe to this channel because obviously I want you to come back and kick it. Have really awesome holidays and you guys, I love you. And if I don't see you before the new year, <gasps> Happy New Year! <laughs> Merry Christmas. Bye. Do I have confetti all over me?